Hey guys and gals, thanks again for tuning in right here on Hook, Line and Singer. I'm your host, resident singing fisherman and wannabe chef, Bob Sellers. As you can guess, this is not a fishing video. We are under a severe thunderstorm warning. You can probably guess that too. Uh, what else can a guy do? Well, I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna cook one of my favorite dishes. I'm gonna be doing some juicy shrimp in a bag, just like you have at these restaurants, like the Juicy Crab. My favorite one is called the Juicy Seafood. And uh, everything comes out inside an oven bag, sealed and seasoned together. And then you open it up and just eat right out of the bag. That's what we're gonna be doing here. So stay tuned, I'll show you how I do it. I'm doing three bags of these super colossal Easy Peel and Deveined Tail on Shrimp. Those are from Walmart. This little girl is right under my feet. She's scared to death of clouds. Do y'all have a puppy like that, that hates the thunder? It's okay, baby, it's okay. Daddy's here with you, okay? It's gonna be okay, Bella Bella. In addition to shrimp, we'll have some smoked sausage. I slice it real thinly. Buy it in a bag like that. This is from Carolina Pride. Uh, 14 ounces, almost a pound there. I'm, I'm gonna put two of those in here. I also have three pounds of baby red potatoes that I've sliced up and I've got a dozen little miniature ears of corn. I just buy that out of the frozen section. I'm gonna put that in there as well. So the main ingredients in this is gonna be shrimp, sausage, corn, and potatoes. The secret to this dish is all in the sauce. And we're gonna get that sauce started right now. First thing I'm gonna do is brown this smoked sausage right here. I just coated my skillet in a little olive oil and now I'm going to turn that on about medium, medium high and get that browned up well. All right, you're going to need some large size oven bags. They're the 16 inch by 17 and a half inch. And then for our sauce, these are the only th ingredients that we're going to have here. Uh, the main thing is butter, unsalted butter. I've got this. I just bought the cheapest thing I could find at Walmart. Uh, and that's four sticks. I'll probably be using at least six in this recipe. Uh, and then in addition to the butter, the main ingredient for your sauce is the finely diced onion. I have already prepared that, got it diced up, uh, chopped up just as finely as you can. And then along with that onion, the other secret is garlic, minced garlic. You can mince your own. I don't know why you would, as long as you can buy that right there. Comes in jars of all sizes, works great. It's just like fresh garlic to me. Old Bay seasoning. Slap your mama Cajun seasoning. Got some garlic powder, got some onion powder, and I have some lemon pepper. Those are the seasonings that we'll be putting in this sauce. Stay tuned, y'all. You cannot believe how tasty this is. This sausage comes fully cooked. You don't have to do this. I just like it. I think it makes it taste better. I'm gonna go ahead and take this sausage back out of the pan. The Carolina Pride sausage is legit. Highly recommended. My favorite sausage ever is Koneka. All right. My favorite kind of sausage uh, comes from here in Alabama. It's called Koneka sausage, and I love it. It's my favorite, but unfortunately, it doesn't love me. All right, so I'm going to leave that, uh, that grease that's in there from uh, frying up those uh, sausage links or that smoked sausage in the pan. I'm going to add to that. Just a little bit of olive oil. 
And this is where the magic starts. We'll put that entire chopped onion. That's one whole sweet onion chopped, diced, finely, whatever you want to call it. Going to take our minced garlic. One, two, three good heaping spoonfuls of that. You can't, you can't really have too much. Let that cook down into those onions. Become that translucent color. Probably worth noting now, if you have something against butter, this is not the recipe for you. Looks like a lot, doesn't it? You know why? It is a lot. That's what makes it scrumptious. In Birmingham has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Tuscaloosa County, east central Pickens County, until 2.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 1.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Gordell, moving east at 20 miles per hour. As my butter begins to melt good, I'm going to go ahead and turn this eye down about low. And now we're going to season it. I've got the, uh, I've got the Old Bay. And slap your mama. Garlic powder. Onion powder. And lemon pepper. That's right, lemon pepper. Oh, and we also need some lemon juice. Almost forgot that. Fresh lemons work great. So does this lemon juice. I'm going to go ahead and add a little lemon juice. That was probably, y'all know I don't measure anything. That was probably about the juice of a couple of lemons. Sprinkle in some Old Bay. A little slap ya mama. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Little lemon pepper. I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat off. At this point, you can start sampling it or smelling it. Or both. A little more Old Bay. Oh, one thing I forgot. A lot of people don't like this, but around here we do. I'm going to put boiled eggs in it as well. I buy these half a dozen already boiled, peeled, ready to go for like $2 a bag. Can't beat that. I'm going to add some paprika. Y'all can see I'm kind of I'm kind of shooting from the hip here as I go along. One reason I wanted to make this video is so that if I forget how I made it one time, <laughs> I can go back and remind myself. All right, I'm liking the color on this. Kind of takes on a reddish hue about it. I'm liking the smell. 
definitely liking the taste. Right. This is corn balls. A little old base seasoning in it. get a potato out and test it after a little while. Getting close. When your potatoes are tender, the corn will be tender. So judge it by your potatoes. Okay, everything in there is good and tender. And I just poured the water off of it. Ooh, smells so good. I'll we'll take our Reynolds oven bags and get those opened up and rolled down. I use this big cake pan to put them in. And just going to start to fill them. I like to put an even number of everything in them. And you know, if there's anything that I'm putting in mind that you don't like, then just don't put it in yours. A lot of sausage. Okay, so 14 in each bag. Oh no! I forgot to cook them! Just kidding. They cook in the oven, in the bag. Preheat that to 350. Again, I'm trying to keep everything nice and uniform. Just ladle that over. All your flavor comes from this buttery goodness. Okay, I have our three bags equal. And now we're gonna put them in the oven just like this. But first, we're going to close these bags up tight, give it a good spin, and give it a good shake. Look at that. That, that, that right there. That's where the magic happens. See how that's coating that? that garlic, onion, and all that seasoning. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm opening these bags back up to put them in the oven. If not, your bag will fill up the entire inside of the oven. You don't want that happening because it'll touch the heating elements and then pop. All right, I've got my rack down low just in case. And into there we go. I'm gonna go in there about 12 or 15 minutes max and those shrimp will be nice and pink, orangish looking and well done. Oh. All right. Take them out of the oven, tie your bags up nice and tight, and they are ready to serve. I'll show you this on a plate here in just a second. Here is the finished result. We got potatoes, we got shrimp, we got sausage, it's in there, I promise you. Boiled eggs, corn. Mm, Y'all give it a try. Let me know what you think.
Well, look at there. Just like that. Skies are clearing. I still hear thunder. It's probably not good. The sun comes out. That heats everything up and creates better dynamics for, uh, for a worse storm. I want to read you something real quick. Easter is right around the corner. That's right, Easter. My second favorite time of year. Christmas. Christmas is my all-time favorite time of the year. If there hadn't been a Christmas, there wouldn't have been an Easter. I'm thankful for both of those wonderful, wonderful Christian holidays. The verse is very simple. He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee. He is not here. He is risen. Our God lives today. I hope and pray he lives within your heart. From me and my family to you and yours, happy Easter, happy Resurrection Sunday. Our Lord lives. God bless you.